I hit your trailer. Contact me and we can sort out the damages. Okay. <laughs> okay. I pulled in this morning and I usually park right beside the trailer and I'm like, this thing's on a dirty angle this morning. What is going on? Boom. Walk over here. There's a little note on my tail light. And that is why I love living in Canada. You tell me where else someone's gonna smoke your trailer and then leave their phone number so that they can pay for what they just did instead of just trying to run away. Thankfully, it doesn't look too bad. It literally just looks like he hit like just the light. I think they actually stick out a little bit. Yeah, the light sticks out like this much. So he probably just clipped the light and obviously just a little bit right there where the paint's coming off, but could have been worse. Like the bracket's fine. Literally, he owes me like 50 bucks. If that at all. I just thought it was funny because like normally, People would just do that and drive away and just be like, yo, hopefully I don't get caught. I don't know, maybe he saw the cameras or something, I don't know. Nice guy, called him, he didn't answer his phone. I don't know how I feel about that, but at least I got his number. I'm gonna have to just address this before the anything, anything starts. Look at the hoodie I'm wearing, boys. This is gonna be what's going live February 17th. BRZ hoodies, we are celebrating where the BRZ is at. Extremely limited edition. Follow the committed crew. They look so dope. They're like actual gold stitching on the burgundy hoodie. I'm gonna change up the hoodie style. I know we've been doing this one for a little while. This was just something I was like super excited to do. It matches perfectly with the BRZ's new wheel and wrap combo, dude. It's just, they're fire. Look how big. The hood looks on this thing, it's insane. I hadn't drove this car after I put the hood on until this morning, and it looks absolutely massive from in here. I think probably a lot of it is just that it needs like hood pins or something to keep it down a little bit more, but this huge bump from in there, you see a lot. This car, we are fully gonna be building, we're gonna be boost, like it's already boosted, but we're gonna be adding a ton of power, we're gonna be doing the manual swap, we're gonna be doing all that, but I told you guys something I wanna do this year, is try and not have my cars be two colors because that was like a really big complaint from you guys. Jenny's looking hella good. Once this thing's painted, you guys have no idea how much, but if you Google this setup, painted, oh my God, it looks so much better than this. Either way, regardless of what everybody says, I think it looks dope and I'm super excited to keep going with it. So to tell you the truth, I actually was gonna get started with the hood latches today, but I accidentally ordered the hood latches to the wrong address. Again, that's the second time in the last like two weeks I've sent something to the wrong address. I don't know why. I just like, I gotta start paying more attention when I order stuff. So since we can't button everything down on the front end and kind of latch the hood down and make it all look perfect, we're just gonna pause on that. And we're gonna come back here <laughs> to this absolute turd of a bumper that I literally bought just to get it inspected. I was debating keeping these things as like spares, but honestly, I don't, I don't wanna have junk. Let me just show you what we got. Oh, please don't fall. Oh, <laughs> damn. So this is the Legato rear bumper. This thing is super aggressive. I think my favorite part is this is the little diffuser down here. I think it looks so good. I wouldn't have normally just bought a car that I want to drift and buy a body kit for it, but I wasn't a huge fan of the BK1. And then when I started looking at BK2 swaps, I'm like, if I'm going to spend the money, I may as well get something dope. And that's kind of just what led us here. But dude, this is sick. It looks a little stupid because it's kind of like all bent out. And the gray color makes it really hard to tell like how it's going to look. So we got, oh, we got tiny, tiny little baby grill pieces, just like the front bumper hat. I guess these little itsy bitsy, oh my god, no wonder. Look at the size of the hole. And it looks like it's a bunch of brackets, which I don't entirely know what they're for. I also feel like I shouldn't have just put this all in the trunk because I gotta open it. Right here. Do you want to see us start doing stuff? Because I have this pipe bender that's just been chilling there for the longest time. And it's mainly because we don't know where to put it. It has to get drilled into the floor. But like if you guys want to see us start making stuff, I would love I have to make a rear and front bash bar on the BRZ, rear and front bash bar on this thing. We have to like tube the whole front end of this, and then when we start the S10, we literally have to frame the entire bed to hold the motor. Lots of work, lots of practice with the pipe bender. If you guys want to see that start, I don't know why I've been delaying, but vote, let me know. So let's bring you over. Oh. Wait a second. Ow! 
you. Hopefully, these guys just drop right in. Hey, I guess I should probably put these screen pieces in too. Did they come with little screws? Get off me. Ooh, so I don't think Herender had this issue when he was helping me install the ones on the front, but this seems like it's curved right here. And if I were to put any kind of hardware in there, it's just instantly gonna move over and have a gap, which kind of makes it pointless. So I think what we'll do... Oh, that actually almost did it, just the one. Do one more. I'm gonna go ahead and say that's perfect. All right, looks good. Let's throw this bad boy back on. All right, I guess on in the first place. That looks so good. Something that I just realized is I think I remember when we first got this car that we couldn't fully attach the bumper because we were missing some clips underneath. Oh, did I just put them up on the car? I might have. All these little clips that came with it are for underneath. Yeah, there's like leftover tabs on the bottom. I think there's supposed to be like a tab that comes down and then this guy should probably attach like that right into the tab that is literally exactly how i remember it looking well probably up there but but it, it's way more solid than the oem one was oh i forgot to put in the license plate lights damn it i wonder if i could make just like two of them just to keep it from going anywhere i feel like i could probably use oh yeah a little aluminum piece just to keep this from kind of like flapping around when we're like driving at high speeds actually you know what would maybe even work better oh, of course i jammed it all back here the leftover abs plastics you guys know i love to make things and this is like a really easy material to use to make things i got this from a local place that made helicopter windows i ordered like a massive sheet when we did the front splitter on the brz oh my toolbox moved um, when we did the front splitter and the rear diffuser, I ordered like a massive sheet. It's like $160 for the whole thing. Just Google like plastic moldings, because I get this question every time I use ABS. Google like plastic molding companies that mold any sort of plastic into anything, because there's companies that do that. They make like helicopter windows and they make whatever they do. They will be the ones that will give you access to that. Just say you want to buy a full sheet of ABS. It's, it's not 100% perfect, I literally made it, but obviously they're spun out backwards so I can just like reach underneath and pop them if I ever have to. The only thing that was weird was these bolts on the back are rusted in. So the old screws that held in the old tabs are completely rusted in, I can't get them out. So I just self-tapped into like this plastic for now, which I know is not the most ideal, but like I said, we're probably gonna be making a new bash bar just I just want to practice as much as I can so even though I don't really need it I'm probably gonna make one just to learn I'll make like a little tab that comes down to this or maybe make this out of metal that comes off the bar Ooh, that'd be dope There's no point in putting the other two in right now because we're gonna take this back off like really soon and paint it everything else went really nice this the they had little like I don't know what you would call it there's like a little piece that goes into the actual car that's where the screw goes into it launched out somewhere so I'm gonna have to get like a nut and bolt to keep this corner in there um, but like the body lines are super nice. All it's doing is gapping right here now. Um, and I'm pretty sure I can fix that pretty easily. I just gotta take, when we have it back off next time, I'll adjust the bracket in behind there. So, uh, so let's snug it up, get these last couple bolts on. It looks good. It looks really good. This thing turned out super dope, but something I do want to make sure you guys understand is that it does look really weird right now. Color is just not appropriate to get a really good feel. Like the color makes it look too weird. I don't even know what I would call it. It reminds me of some kind of anime stuff and I don't even know anything about anime. That might have been stupid, but I don't know. That that's just gives me like this weird vibe, but I have only ever seen it painted. So when I bought it, I was like, this looks unreal. And it really does. And like once we paint all the diffuser section and stuff black, 
and then paint the rest of the car a different color. Like it'll all look really dope, I promise. It's just like on camera, especially, I think that's why I'm explaining it. In person, I think it looks sweet, but on camera, I can tell it, there, it catches a lot of Stuff. We got to do something about a wing though. We got to do some maybe a little duck bill or something just to kind of tie this all in together Because it looks cool, but it's just unmatched too aggressive with nothing else going on back there And then the front too the front looks still a little wonky because we only have the one rubber bushing prop Whatever you want to call it, but when you push it down you guys saw the fitment yesterday is really nice And the same thing with the front bumper like it it looks a completely different beast when you see it painted So all I can tell you guys for now is that we need to do a little bit of Touching up a couple little odd jobs a couple things before we go ahead and do anything as far as like painting it I want it to be kind of perfect before we get it in for paint dude Who would have thought Jenny would have made so much progress so fast honestly what I think is better than anything that we've done today is that right now It's like what time? Where's my keys right now? It is five o'clock It's five o'clock right now and look at the sky man there's still light outside! That made my whole day. You guys know I am a big summer guy. I absolutely love the summer weather. I love being outside. I love being hot. I do like living here because like it doesn't snow so much, but it rains too much. I'd almost rather just be cold because the cold, whatever, you can get over it. But when there's no sun, like I have, I've seen the sunshine four or five times in the last like three months. Now the fact that it's been nice for the last like two days in a row, it's like five o'clock and it's still bright out. That means the good things are coming. This thing looks like such a walrus with this hood on. It just looks like a huge rhinoceros on the front. I also think I want to take this stuff off because it just kind of looks ugly. And maybe a little duck bill, a little carbon duck bill would be dope. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. I'm going to get out of here while there's still a little bit of daylight left and try and enjoy some drive home in the light for the first time in forever. Don't forget February 17th. Make sure you follow the committed crew. These came out absolutely fire. I'm extremely happy with them and I hate talking about it too much, but for those of you guys that have stuck around and you still want to know about the committed crew merch, um, it'll just be these and the logo stickers this drop and then we have a bunch of new stuff coming later this year, like next month. So as of next month, we'll start like way different but the same, like keeping it simple, but like new stuff. This will be the last version of these sweaters with the stickers. It's, it's gonna be a good last drop, all to celebrate the BRZ, so I hope you guys are stoked on that. I hope you guys are just enjoying the videos lately because I have been having a great time making videos lately. It has been a lot of fun. The, I'm loving all my cars. I'm just, I'm having a good time. I, I hope you guys enjoy that, so. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys next time. Peace out and stay committed.